from borderline homelessness to fighting sexualization on the set of Charmed, in this video, we will share with you the untold stories about the life of Holly Marie Combs while showing you some of her rare photos. Holly Mary Combs, who is of Irish descent, had a more unusual childhood than most, mainly because her parents were mere teenagers when they had her. Her mother, Lorelai Combs, was only 15 years old when she was born, and her father, David Combs, was only 17 years old as well. Holly was born on December 3, 1973, in San Diego, California. Despite how young both her parents were, they married for the sake of their little girl. Unfortunately, they just could not make the marriage work, and as a result, they split up after two years. As a single mother, Lorelai Combs really struggled to take care of Holly by herself. And because they had no money, they had to move from place to place, often along the San Diego beach. Holly was deprived of privacy, and the only space she had all to herself was the bathroom. Holly's mom, Lorelai, had dreams of becoming an actress. With that as her main focus, she couldn't always keep an eye on Holly. One day when Holly was learning to walk, she headed right into a marble table. This became the origin of her iconic eyebrow scar. After giving up on making it in Hollywood, Holly's mom, Lorelai, moved the two of them to New York. Holly was seven years old at the time. Ironically, it was during this period that fortune began to sway in their favor. When Holly was 12, her mom married the man who would become her stepfather. Finally, their family had some sense of stability. And with that sense of stability, Lorelai gave up on her dreams of being an actress, transferring them to Holly instead. Holly Marie, who had been named after Lorelai's prom queen, was more than up to the task. Holly attended Beekman Hill Elementary School in New York. Then, she attended the Professional Children's School. This institution, which is geared towards training aspiring child actors, gave Holly a significant boost. As a result, right from her early teens, she was locked and loaded to take on the industry. Holly was just 14 years old when she landed her first major role in the comedy drama Sweetheart's Dance. From that moment onward, her trajectory through Hollywood was a smooth one, marked by waltzes with some of the industry's biggest stars. She appeared in movies starring Susan Sarandon and Tom Cruise, while also gaining the privilege of being directed by Oliver Stone and Hal Hartley. Bit by bit, she was building up quite a reputation. As far as child star careers go, Holly could not complain, especially given the difficult years of her early childhood. However, she was due for a big break soon, something that would take her from a familiar face to a household name. One of Holly Marie Combs' most iconic roles came in the TV show Picket Fences. However, the incredible story of how she got it is much less popular. As an 18-year-old, she auditioned for the role in New York, but the casting agent didn't have much faith in her and straight up told her that she didn't have a big enough heart. This infuriated Holly, who angrily replied, if you're looking for someone with a big heart, what the hell are you doing in New York? Storming out of the audition, Holly spent the next couple of days wondering how badly she had blown it. Would she be blacklisted for losing her temper on the casting agent? Fortunately for her, most of her fears were unfounded. As a matter of fact, she received a call telling her she had won the part. At this point, Holly breathed a hearty sigh of relief. After acting in the industry since she was 14 years old, she finally landed a job that would surge her popularity. When Picket Fences premiered, the ratings struggled due to its Friday nighttime slot. However, its subject matter was so interesting that viewers kept coming back for more. On top of all this, it was a critical favorite, garnering 14 Emmy Awards. Holly won a Best Young Actress Award for her performance in the show as well. The second of Holly's most iconic roles came in the teen fantasy drama Charmed. It was 1998 and Holly was 25 years old. As with Picket Fences, there's an interesting story here about how Holly got the role in the hit show. It all had to do with her friendship with the older, more notorious Shannon Doherty. Given that the two of them were child stars, it did not take much for Holly and Shannon to gravitate towards one another. Shannon had worked with the producer of Charmed Aaron Spelling on the show Beverly Hills 902 Sen. As such, he had her in mind for his new show. When Shannon received the script, she read it right in front of Holly. After that, she stormed into Aaron Spelling's office with Holly and asked him to cast her too. That was how Holly landed her most iconic role. The third main character of the show was filled by Alyssa Milano, another former child star. With such a cast, the show was set for success right from the start. However, things would not proceed smoothly at all. This was due to the enmity between Alyssa and the troublesome Shannon. 
before we get to that, let's refocus a bit on the personal challenges that Holly faced while filming Charmed. Even though she really loved the show, the fandom around it was a little crazy. People were obsessed with sexualizing her and her castmates, so much so that someone once broke into her trailer with a camcorder, trying to get footage of her naked body. After this incident, security on the set was increased. However, there were threats from inside the production as well. Some producers wanted Holly to wear a push-up bra so she could match up with her co-stars, but then she strongly refused. As a result, they had to back down, and she remained on the show as her authentic self. Even though Charmed was a big hit on national TV, there was a storm brewing between Shannon and Alyssa. The two of them had been bridesmaids at Holly's wedding, but that could not quench the enmity between them. Shannon was a known Hollywood bad girl, one who had raised hell on sets before. Alyssa, who was no amateur herself, was not going to back down from her fight with her. Eventually, Alyssa gave the producers an ultimatum. As a result, Shannon was written out of the show. This broke Holly's heart. However, there was nothing she could do to help her friend. Charmed went on for four more seasons. As the show progressed, so did Holly's role. As a matter of fact, she directed more than a few episodes. Though she had lost her best friend, she had gained a family. Another TV show that gave Holly a lot of clout was the teen mystery drama Pretty Little Liars, which ran from 2010 to 2017. Holly had lasted so long in Hollywood that she had gone from playing children to teens to now a mother. She appeared in 62 of the show's 160 episodes. Though hers was mostly a supporting role, she reminded everyone of who she was and what she could do. Even though Holly and Shannon had been split up on Charmed, they remained lifelong friends. Their bond was such that in 2015, they reunited for their own road trip reality show. It would be just the two of them, without Alyssa anywhere near to make things tense. As both their careers had slowed down in their adult lives, this was a particularly exciting opportunity. Unfortunately, not long after the show premiered, Shannon's breast cancer diagnosis was revealed. It had spread to her lymph nodes and would be no easy feat to treat. Holly had campaigned against breast cancer in the past and knew what her friend was up against. Even though she supported her every step of the way, things only got worse and worse. Finally, eight years after the original diagnosis, Shannon announced the cancer had spread to her brain and was now terminal. Holly had no choice but to prepare herself to lose a lifelong best friend. Holly is now about to enter her 50s. However, she looks way younger than her age. In any case, it's pretty evident she has a lot more years ahead of her in showbiz. Despite the unique challenges of being a child actor and a teen idol, she came out unscathed. If you enjoyed this video, there's a good chance you'll also enjoy the one showing on your screen right now. Click, enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one.